All right. Uh, Tao. All right. So um, I'm thinking since I'm not using psi points to increase weapon damage, mm -hmm. then my my weapon attacks don't do any more than magic missile, and of course they could miss, which would be really annoying. Yeah. So I'm going to use a charge of magic missile. Okay. Right in like in the face. Right in the face. Unerringly hits for fourteen. Jesus. Jesus, indeed. Good. Okay. That brings me down to two charges. I'll have to be very careful about my usage going forward. And the sun, um, still down. Okay. Um, now it's Marlos' turn. I, I can play it with accordion. I got stoned and I missed it. I got right. stoned and it rolled right by. Plus the nine, so that's not going to hit anybody because a disadvantage for that. All right. But now the hair will attack. Still attacking the towel. Um, the hair will hit. Out. I'm the one is going to push you off. Um, yeah. it is interesting. Oh wait, no, that's right though. He has to. Before I do that, okay. If I if I succeed on not looking at you, and then having to do my uh, check, um, then I will have hit you with the hair at least. But I'm not gonna roll the damage yet because I have to see whether or not I'm looking gonna be looking at you. One d four. Even he looks. Audie does not. Audie does not look this time. All right, so the hair is going to easily hit and deal, because I miss with a, I miss with the pickaxe anyway. Um, don't go down, don't go down, don't go down. Five, six, eleven, and then that's the poison damage plus one. Um, twelve. Twelve damage. Okay, I am very, very bloodied and kind of woozy from the poison, which is not good being up on a cliff here. Yeah. But I'm still yeah. standing. Very good. Um, and that's his turn. All right, so Eric. <laughs> Okay, I am going to try and hit him and then shield push him again, hopefully. No, I'm going to keep rolling yeah, terribly. Yeah, well, mirror to make sure his face is okay after all that. <coughs> you do get advantage to hit him, though. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Better, better, better. better. Oh. No, no. God. I have better than a 50-50 chance on yeah. every single one of these attacks, <laughs> not counting advantage. So, really, I should have been hitting him about 75% of the time. Oh. And I've hit once out of four rounds. Yep. Ah. <sighs> Actually, as you miss, no, I, no, this doesn't matter. I have dialogue. It was gonna be so story specific, but he's not gonna get to do it. He's anyway. Oh, uh, Tao. Tao, you gotta finish him. End him. I'm trying to decide if I if I should move away in case I don't kill him in one more burst, right? Because I don't know yeah. how I, he's been bloodied for a while, but no idea how many hit points he's got. Well, I'll probably can... deal ten-ish with the magic missile, but. Attack and step away, and then you could hit him with the magic missile next time. Right? Although and steps away, him. he has to do something to okay. avoid getting attack of opportunity. I do have side right. points for that. Tell you what, I will point blank magic missile him again. Okay, we're gonna start okay. with that. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, spellbook. That would be nice. Do it, do it. There you go. That brings me down to Big one charge left, which means I probably won't again. Still ten points of damage. And uh, no, he does not fall. <sighs> oh my god. He looks very, very bad, but he is still hanging on for dear life. Okay, then I will use my celerity power and my final two freaking power points to get a speed boost, be able to move away without drawing attacks of opportunity. Okay. I mean, assuming he can even take attacks of opportunity where he is. Is it possible that he no. can't? Yeah, no, he can't. He no, can't? Okay. No. Well, he doesn't have any extra uh, decks to do yeah, anything he's, with that anyway. He's, he's already like... A yeah, that that makes, okay. that makes sense. He's not a position. So you shouldn't. So you can move away without spending your yeah, power yeah. points. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So he does. Yeah. Which also means you don't have to spend like a bonus action or something. So you can keep doing whatever you're doing yeah. with that. If he had a and higher dex, maybe, but no, he's not. Your okay. your plan of making him look at the disc may be less effective, but you could still use it to deter him from trying to glare you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so by holding it up. Like, I'm trying to make it so he doesn't actually look in my direction. Although, I suppose that puts the pressure on Eric, but probably has a better deck or con save. I don't know. Yeah, um, well, I'm sure. I've, the way I've been rolling today, I'm not, not sure that it helps. And, and you keep using bonus actions to look away, so that's okay. Um, yeah, mostly. So, as, as, uh, well, as if, you move away... I, actually, if I do a shield push, that is my bonus action, so then I don't get that mm -hmm. bonus okay. action to look away. So as, work, as you move away, um, after that attack, in fact, uh, Marlos does yell out, he says... Yarsha, help me, or you will pay. And Yarsha just keeps laughing. Apparently, who you think is Yarsha <laughs> just keeps laughing, cackling hysterically, and in a sort of like also very, very hateful, like just super, just the acid and the the 
vinegar in the, inside the laugh is is really 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 palpable. Um, I mean, this Marlos guy can't possibly collect if he's dead. So you know. Well, there's that. Um, yeah. So now it is uh, it is Marlos's turn. He cannot hit Tao from here. Yeah. He is going to take a swing at disadvantage. He rolled a one. Never mind. Um, disadvantage yeah. with his pickaxe to hit uh, Eric. Eric. Eric does uh, not get hit. So now it's the snake. Snake will hit. Um, so we're going to roll at seven points of poison plus 13 plus, not plus 13, sorry, it's 13 plus two. So 15 points of poison total. And then another seven points of actual damage. So 22. Yeah. I rolled really well on that one. Yeah. Okay. So I I take three less. So I take 19. I had seven temporary hit points. I take 12 damage. So I am bloody now. That's not great. Yeah. Okay. This is getting really precarious. Yeah, you it, have it's, to risk the last charge if I don't knock him down. It's one of those situations where inside of this dungeon, if you guys would have gone, you know, like I don't know, a normal way, um, you may have you come across us. allies. But no, you know, fine. You you have to do this all by yourself, which is oh interesting God. because you actually engaged him in such an un un unfortunate way for him. Okay, we have an ally. I mean, currently he's a statue, but we have an ally. Well, there's that. He's blocking the entrance. Yeah, yeah I'm getting so tired of you. Yeah. Hit him again. Okay, I hit the that AC will hit. 16. That hits him, right? Yeah. He's gonna take eleven. Okay. Wow. And then if he doesn't fall from that, then I'm going to fall from that. I will try and shove him as a bonus action. Uh, and he's... I got twenty-three. All right, I'm gonna roll it in here. Roll one d twenty. Um, plus his strength, which is three, I believe. Um, plus, plus three, plus three. Uh, no, I, yeah, plus three, plus three to his strength. So, so he's hunting twenties. Is he dead? You shove him right off the side, and yeah, he has another. He has another roughly, you know, a hundred or so feet to fall. Yeah. So he goes skipping down, and, and honestly, I would give him another saving throw to catch himself. But this, as you remember, this is the smooth side. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, he's not yeah. going to get anything from and that. That's a big fail too. Like he really got shoved. Yeah, he's shoved right off. Yeah, yeah he's not going to get any saving throw. And in fact, also, he's going to he fall. Has barely any hit points left. Honestly, I'm going to see. I'm going to roll a d20. How high is it from here? Okay, shit. All right, it's it's, like it's from here. 20? It is 150 feet. From here. <laughs> okay. So that's going to... You know what? I don't even have to roll for this because he is... He only had five hit points left after that attack. Oh, good. So he oh, is God. he is incredibly puddled um, at the basin. Gosh. You just hear his screams as he falls. And then you hear this, this insidious, just wet smack. And then nothing. Okay. All right. So after that, so I'm going to look up at Priest Face over there, and it's like, so we got problem with you? <laughs> yeah, she's laughing. At, you know, she, she sort of like just chuckles to herself and immediately does this. You ready? Yeah. I kind of figure. Mike, we're just here for his brother. <laughs> uh, yeah. That one, that one just leaves. Um, and that's it. <sighs> All right, so that's you're out of combat. Woo. Great time, guys. I really have to get up and move around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got to pee. Splat. I get a lot of coffee. Um, you guys might want to go after him this time, though. You did shove him down, and yeah, he does yeah. have we're, stuff we're on him. I'm pretty sure he has stuff that's worth money. And yeah. What I'm thinking, we've got 150 foot worth of rope. Like, I can just, like, parachute down with my superpowers, and then you guys can pull me back up with the rope. Well, ish. Lasan is still down. Yeah. We do have, we do have to rest somewhere. Yeah, but we'll we'll yeah, come back. Greetings, everybody. We have returned, and uh, we are about to get started once again onto the uh, the second portion, or I suppose I should say the last third of the uh, stream is about to begin. We have once again with us Quill eighteen. Hey, folks. And Demonac. Greetings. As well as the lovely Akisvluck and Rhino. Hey, guys, and the lovely Rhino. <laughs> and the lovely Rhino. <laughs> yeah. so just the thing, me being known for overpowered weapons, you should chop off his head and take it with you like Perseus did. <laughs> oh, yeah! Perseus, that's yeah. Oh, yeah. Tao could use it as a decorative necklace. I mean, you just hold the head in front of someone and they're stone. 
Um, is there any any way you can do that in D and D? I don't know if I can. Is there any rules against that? Just to avoid having us do really crazy bullshit, you should probably say that like the Medusa's power and magic goes away when it dies. Well, I mean, honestly, at this particular point, using Medusa's head and the way it actually attacks and stuff like that, you know, taking a head with you, I'm gonna say is a very, very chaotic, if not evil, act. Well, you know what would happen though. One of us would roll the kind of rolls we do, yeah. trip, yeah. look at it, and kill ourselves. <laughs> Which I'm is just... why I'm okay with somebody trying it. If you want, <laughs> <laughs> you roll a one. Well, normally this wouldn't happen, but uh, since you have a Medusa's head, um, the Medusa has to be conscious. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah, that's true. Oh, the eyes open and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna say that you can't do that. Oh. Um. Very good. It's not a, uh, and he didn't have a nuclear bomb in his pocket either. <laughs> Damn it. That's, that's uh, okay. everything. So there's nothing really uh, left to say um, other than, uh, well, Lasan is still unconscious. Somebody's going to have to tend to that. Um, also, Gira is a stone statue, unfortunately. He's still a statue, and then Medusa's dead? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, shit. So yep. He said it takes a greater restoration. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, I have yeah. a question. I, I think, and I might be wrong, but I think as a hunter, all I can learn is lesser restoration. Yeah, I don't think you get seventh level spells. I could be wrong. Can I? Mm. I can't roll it at a higher level later. Is that a thing? Maybe These are different spells. Yeah, it's an entirely yeah. different spell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I will say that. Um, Tell you what we're gonna do. Actually, no, no. Actually, I was gonna, I was gonna do something, but that's gonna be counter to the, uh, the actual personality. So I'm not gonna do that. So um, what, what I'm gonna suggest is that a, we like string up all our rope together. I go and parachute down mm -hmm. using my power, loot the body, come back up on the rough wall plus the rope, which should be you know flawless. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then maybe we actually we go into his bedroom, and sleep yeah. and rest there. I was going to ask, do the statues yeah. that we saw in his bedroom look like Gira does now? Are we getting yeah, a sense yeah, that these are just things turned to stone? Yeah. It's more likely that they're okay. actually going to stay stone. But okay. we don't know what we're going to run into if we come around up here, right? We don't well, even know. I've already been there. You've been there, but yeah. yeah we don't know what, what stuff's going to... We haven't seen the area. You were, mm -hmm. looked like yeah. you were pretty focused on the fight. You didn't like get a good look around. Yeah, but you only got to see there, about 60 feet, feet in one direction. Passing through there for all we know. And anyway. what's his face knows the Medusa's dead, so the room's not going to be safe from that perspective. Well, yeah, but if I'm there, I can sure as hell work the uh, the secret latch. Right. For the escape. Mm -hmm. So there's only one area we have to defend against, but we do have a back way out. Mm -hmm. True. It's true. Anyway, Good. first thing I want to do yeah. is I want to go down here, and I want to oh, Okay. Fun. I'll help you out with that. <laughs> Luke, please. Okay, okay, just give me one fun. athletics check. For what part? Just for for repelling down, it's easy. Repelling down, like e easy athletics check advantage easy. sort of thing. Like super, like, just don't roll a one, basically. Open rough wall. Uh, yeah, except I don't climb down. I fling myself off the ledge. Oh, you're just uh, you're, you're gonna spend your power points. No, oh, no, no you don't have points. to because as long as you have the you already on, have you it. Oh, okay. Sorry, you just kind of like go down, no problem. All right, well I when you get down there, difficult terrain. If I had that, I would have grappled buddy and then jumped down. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> like, taking him off, taking oh, him yeah. with me. But All right, not so actually taking him with me to like let go. <laughs> yeah, so you you easily uh, you easily make your way down, absolutely uh, un unhindered by physics normally. And um, <laughs> once you get about sixty <laughs> feet from it, your eyes sort of adjust and you can see the body, um, or what you think is the body. Um, it's actually just a big mud pile. It's a pile of mud. A puddle, like actual mud. Actual mud. <clears throat> Interesting. Yep. Is that what they do when they die? The Medusa, Barely. they go puddly. Well, at least this guy does. Hey, well, uh, yeah. However, he was turned into a Medusa because hmm. there yep. may have been something non-standard there. He's definitely just a big pile of, of, of wet mud. And, um, yeah, so you can you can peel for the body <laughs> un, unhindered, really. You can just sort of, like, push, pushing through. It's, it's just mud, but honestly, it feels weird because you, it's, you know, what you think, and it was a, per, it was a thing, and you, yeah, but, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um. You've you've seen enough dead bodies, and I dare say you've been splattered with blood enough times. You don't have to make a, a con save. You're fine. You're not gonna puke. You're good to go. Um, <laughs> so, 
Uh, let's find out here. What the hell did he have on him? <laughs> okay, well, specifically, just to the side of him, you notice right off the bat, is uh, sort of a... It sort of gleams almost with a, a little small... Like a, a tiny amount of magical power seems to be on it. Um, the pickaxe that uh, he was carrying oh. just lays on yeah, the ground. I, I wondered about that, yeah. So we've got... From Morbo. Morbo? I know that's not his name, but I like it. Morbo! I'm thinking of him as Morose. I knew he said something with an uh, M. Marlos. Oh, Marlos, Morose. yes. Marlos, Marlos is his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Marlos. Morbo. Morbo. Uh, no. Magic pickaxe. Okay. Yep. Does, does he have, did he have, does he have like a note on him? Like should he have could he have scribbled down his like flavor text that, like all his like quotes somewhere <laughs> so he doesn't forget them? <laughs> all his he's got, like all, he has all his dialogue on a little notepad. That would have been awesome. Um <laughs> but no, no, he doesn't have anything like that. Um In fact, apparently, um unless I'm missing something. Diddly 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 diddly. You know, here's the ironic part. If you guys were to, to have fought him here, you know, on the ledge and everything, if you were to happen to get him down close to death, he was supposed to retreat. And in fact, he was supposed to retreat pretty much the way that he fell. But, <laughs> it, this just didn't, it went a little bit faster than he had planned. Oh, uh, he would have got into yeah. his room and then gone out through his, his little opening thing. Yeah. yeah. Sacred door thing, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, that's, <laughs> whatever. Um, deedly deedly deedly. Yeah. Okay. You know what? No. All he actually has on him is uh, is the iron or the uh, the the pickaxe. <coughs> okay. Still got a chest in his bedroom. Too. Does he does he does he have muddy fancy expensive clothes now? No. That all turned to mud. Really? Wow. All yeah. those other possessions. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. No. Nope, so I climb the, uh... back up, and I like I roll a one a couple of times, but it's fine because when I fall, nothing happens. So eventually, I get back up. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, then I'm right. gonna stealthily climb up over here. Okay, and you still have that going on. How long does that last? I I literally never take falling damage. It, it, it remember he can only you can only have what one discipline going I, at a time. I can only have one discipline focused. Yeah. So, so it's it, a bonus action to switch from one to the other. So normally I actually go around with the celerity going because when I've got celerity going, um, I get a, advantage on initiative, initiative rolls yeah. plus another thingy about surprise and stuff like that. Um, but if I were to ever fall, I just take a bonus action to not take falling damage. Yeah, so like each of his disciplines has some pretty good powers, but he can only have one running at a time. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, yeah. whatever. Um, that's... I recharge my temporary hit points, by the way. Okay, and you guys are going to probably need to carry um, the sun. Yeah, but we're just waiting for uh, yeah, for I'm... Tao to scout out. First. Okay, so okay, yeah. so Tao, you're up on the ledge now. You're you're up here, and um, I'm not gonna have you do a stealth check because there's nothing to stealth against. Um, we're just gonna go. Well, we're gonna actually. I wanted to move around first. Let's do this, so I can see the rest of this. All right. So you have. You, I'm gonna say you moved around and you're looking around, and you see basically uh, that. Um, oh, much bigger room than I thought. It's a sufficiently sized boss room, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Boy, it would have been a lot of mobility going on in this fight. You know? Oh man, it would have been great. Would have been. No, actually, I think the way it was was even better. I. Yeah, I, that was epic. It was yeah. pretty nice. It, it got really tight because my eye rolls were so bad. Statistically, I should have knocked him off like that two or three rounds ago. Well, there's that too, yeah. And he would have taken a done ton of damage. I kept rolling bad. It got really, really tight. Yeah. It was great <laughs> battle. Although, I will say that um, if you guys had a, you know come in like even from this angle here, the way you had come without having any extra allies, and the fact that he gets yeah. three strikes per turn with his normal weapon plus his... Plus the yeah. snakes, plus yeah. the... Yeah, no, you guys would have been like, really hard up. Favor. Yeah, I think a stand-up fight, we would have been obliterated. Like, yeah. it wouldn't even been close. We would have been absolutely obliterated. Which is why I was kind of worried about you guys coming this way. But, you know, yeah. Yeah. you handled it. Um, so anyway, that's that's what you see inside of here. And in fact, what you do see is um, also the all these other life-size or life-looking um, statues... I'm um, just hanging around. Um, but this one here, 
That one there. Give me a. Like uh, Eric. Give me like a Eric. Uh, uh, an insight check. Yeah, you're not sure, but you can almost, you kind of get the, uh, it's like, it looks similar, but, you know, not not really. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a sense of dread, but I can't be sure. Yeah. In any case, oh, I'll, I'll just come back over here and help Eric um, yeah. get up here with Hassan, like, you know, pass her up and pull her yeah. up and just do all that. That's Eventually, we'll have to come down here with the Greater Restoration, not just for Eric's brother, but one for Gira as well. I think it's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. We, we have to come back for Gira. I finally have to, like, change classes, learn stuff. We've got, we got, we we got a money sink, sink now. Wait, so there's a, there's, a, there's a quest. You guys, okay, you, you, you did one part of the quest, and as you did that quest, another quest pops up, and it says, save Gira. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got you. Yes, you that accepted one. that quest. Okay, yes, very good. That's a whole and now he's got a grayed out question mark over his head. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Until yeah. we get the item. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, I only got a 10 on the athletics check there, but I mean, I, that's enough. I'm assuming that's not enough to, like, horribly screw up. Yeah, like, no, you're not going to fall. More checks if you want, but we should be able to, like, eventually climb, get, get, uh, Lisan up here and then climb up. Yeah. yeah. Um, because it's actually rougher right there, it's, it, this, this part yeah. of the wall is, like, rough, like this part of the wall. Um, we've got we've got twenty feet, uh, twenty twenty five feet to go up. But I mean, we've yeah. got a rope. We could, yeah, we could tie it around all the statues. Also, I mean, honestly, you could have just taken a ten. I, sh I should have just mentioned that you could have took a ten and you could have made it. Oh up. yeah, just take a ten. Yeah, uh, plus with help, yeah. like sixteen. Yeah, you're fine. Absolutely no problem. Yeah. Okay, so we bring the sound up here, and then we got to see if we can open that open the Medusa's door. Yep. Oh yeah. So I'll I'll check it for traps and things and do all that kind of stuff. Yeah, no no traps. Yay! And then we'll go into the bedroom, okay. and we'll close the door behind us. Yeah, we we'll drop Lusan in the bed. And... Can can you lock the door from the other side? Way around. Um, <laughs> the bed is trapped. <laughs> yeah, no, that would, ha, that would be hilarious. No, um, no, it's not trapped at all. Um, but yeah, no, you can barricade the door. The door the does open the in, the mimic. so you can barricade the door. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's barricade the the door, and then we're gonna loot yeah. the chest. Okay. People have been waiting long enough. Okay. All right. We'll check it for traps, of course. But you, you... don't open yeah. the chest while I'm unconscious. Okay. Well, we got nothing to do. May yeah. as well count the loot. Count the loot. You guys can't use a, a healing kit or something on me to bring me up enough that I can I, heal myself. Or I don't have. No, unless unless, way unless way somebody has a healing potion, it looks like the healing potion that I had got used at some point. Yes. Do you have a healing potion on you, Lasan? No, because we each had one at some point. Did yes, we? we definitely did. Oh, three. Because I remember spreading it out. I used mine. Let me check. What? Maybe did I write it somewhere? Did I have one? Well, there's an you have, there's an inventory tab, but we don't know if you've been keeping track on there. I don't. <laughs> yeah, potion of healing times three. We got three of them from Gate Crasher. I think he yeah. originally had four, but he drank one. Well, if you gave us one, at, I don't remember using it, but apparently I didn't write it down. Maybe I was <laughs> guys. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I think that I think we have the benefit of the. I, I don't think we have the benefit of that. I think there's a good chance we use them for something because yeah. we've been pretty hard up a lot of the time. Yeah. If you had one there and it said, yeah, if you had something written down and it said you have one, then we'd probably assume that you actually had one and we hadn't used it. But yeah. mine says zero. Mine says zero on the healing potions. So. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We definitely recorded it and we definitely used it at some point. Well, maybe there's one in the chest. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Big ask. So yeah, so we've got the, the medical kit we can use to stabilize you, which is what we did. But yeah. because we don't have the healer feet, we can't heal you. Can't You're gonna have to. Okay. Um, you'll you'll wake up in about uh, I think one d four hours. We might have to yeah, we might have to actually do a long rest for you to get up without proper healing. Actually, you know what? That's right, because she doesn't have any hit points whatsoever. She's not like unconscious. She's like really unconscious. So you know, let's 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 go. If you want to do a long rest, you can definitely. Um, it's one d four hours. It is one d four. Yeah. Okay, so you can do a, you can do a temporary or a short rest, or you can do a long rest. Up to you. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to be resting after an hour. That will have counted as a short rest. So at least Eric and right. I will be able yeah, to stabilize what, the heal. That's what we need to do. Like we'll do that, and then we can continue it on and turn it into a long rest if yeah. nothing goes horribly wrong. So Lasan, roll a d4 to see how long you're going to be out. You baby. Unless it's a one, we're probably doing a long rest. <laughs> Well, even if it's a one, so after wow. an hour, Lasan right, will yeah. wake up, but then Lasan okay. will still need another hour to do at least a short rest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
But right. before any of that happens, mm -hmm. so we've just barricaded the room. I'm, I'm looting the chest. <laughs> Because who knows, maybe there's a healing potion, and then we'll get up and running a lot faster. Okay, very good. So um, you you uh, do indeed open the chest, of or the lid of this chest, and nothing goes off. There's no weird. But inside, there's a lot of twinkle. Ooh! Yeah. A lot of twinkle! Shiny! Yeah. You discover a little star, it incinerates you all by a fusion reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to do... What is the, what is the uh, silver to gold conversion again? Uh... Ten to, one. ten to one. Ten to one. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, um, you find. I'm gonna round it off. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say you find a hundred and fifty gold pieces. Gold pieces. All right. To start. Um, and you also find. Um, a rolled up tapestry, one that's not on the wall. It's just sitting Ooh. inside of here. Um, and it is very, very beautiful. Incredibly, incredibly intricate. Um, Ooh, give me an appraisal her. check. Does anybody have any, um... There isn't, isn't, really, there isn't really an appraisal skill anymore. Investigation? I mean, no. Wisdom? Investigation? Investigation, maybe? sure, that'll work. Let's just do that. History, or... Yeah, I don't know. It made sense. Okay. 23. So, Tal, this, this looks, uh, very elvish to you. Um... Mm. And on it, it has a flying dragon, sort of like just interesting. Yeah. It's like it has like a white dragon, and it's all very like the, the details seem very elvish to you. Um, interesting. And you're yeah, you're 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 pretty sure you can get about four hundred gold pieces <coughs> from this if you were to, were to sell it. <laughs> all right. Inside okay. also there also happens to be a carved lyre. Um, Ooh. that I'm gonna say you know you don't have to do another. Uh, appraisal or, or investigation would be fine. It's going to be worth. I'm glad you rolled high. It's going to be worth 250 gold pieces. Ooh, hey, stop. There's also an embroidered silk robe. Again, that that is is very very detailed and 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 seems to be worth a lot. It's it's going to be worth 80 gold pieces. Well, that is some really nice clothing. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It seems like and, and in fact. The um, the, there's a in there's a hidden tag inside, and your investigation did really really good. Um, the hidden tag inside does say Earn Rail. Um, it just says Earn Rail. Hey, Eowyn's a merchant. Maybe he'll buy it off us mm -hmm. for, for like a good family price. That might be. <laughs> also, last but not least, there is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful suit, an incomplete suit of Elven chain. Oh, that kind of suit. Oh, and it's folded oh inside God. of the chest. I was, I was worried it was a lawsuit. Just like in case of my untimely death, I can buy <laughs> suit you for wrongful. For wrongful like... <laughs> so, so when the sun comes to in an hour, we say, "Yeah, the chest was empty. It was weird." <laughs> that's, that's what my friends would do. Yeah. Roll, roll a bluff check, deception. No, oh, um, well. very good. Oh well. Suit of elven chain. So it's like it's a chain chain mail or chain shirt. Uh, it'll be um, the this an entire suit. So it's going to be a chain mail. Yeah. Okay. Now the fact that it's elven or whatever does it does that make it special in any way? Um, is it really light and, and shiny it, it, and gold? Yeah, it's gonna. I think it. I think it counts as light armor. Because by default, like chain mail, um, gives you disadvantage on stealth checks. Yeah. No, this doesn't do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Stealthy chain mail? Yeah. Yep. Hey, else we win. Oh, that's so good. Does Sal have any ability to, In fact, like, any, any, huh, do, sorry? Do it, does Sal have any ability to identify magic items, like figure out what the deal is with the pickaxe no. and stuff? Okay. Yeah. Woo! Mm. All right. Zeno, offering a staggering 33 septums. Thank you very much. Your generosity. Yeah. Today, everybody, yeah. thank you so very much. Yeah. Thank you. Is it good? Is it good? Everybody entertained? Hopefully so. Um, <laughs> so that is that. Um, yeah, so all things considered, you have some nice loot for having only done probably one thirteenth of the goddamn dungeon. <laughs> um, and the, it'll be an interesting question of are we doing the rest of the dungeon? Oh, yeah, sense? quite. Because we that, found that air, is the question. You know? when, when, I, when I pass through the room and look at the statues... 
do I recognize the statue? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, you don't have to roll. You uh, you know for a fact because the features, the features are yeah, very, I very, roll. you know, the kept. I mean, even though they're stone yeah, features. Yeah, they're very clear. yeah. And um, yeah. One no, of these is your brother. Yep. Yeah. Can it like what what's what does he look like at the time? Was he like? Does he look healthy? Does he look like he was in pain or like? Um, like no, he looks honestly. He face? just has a mild shock sort of look. Huh. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. But you know, yeah. there's a uh, yeah. He's he's he is definitely turned to stone. Also, um, you guys are taking a long rest or a short rest? What are you doing? Well, like, first we rest for an hour and then. We, you know, and then we can sort of continue resting. Like we're gonna get a, a short rest benefit if nothing interrupts us in the first hour, so that we're at least not totally screwed. Okay. Yep. But Don is not gonna be. At least Don is just gonna be waking up at like back to one hit point, sort of at that point, which we're definitely gonna have to rest more. Okay. Yeah. Hit points for short rest. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. So here's the thing. If nothing else, while we're prepping this, we can figure out you know what happens with some of this equipment later on. But I will yeah. be putting on the Elven Chain in case we get attacked while we're being okay. you know, all Very rested good. here. Because right. like, it would be such a massive upgrade. Yep. <coughs> I'd here. imagine. Also, I will uh, point out that uh, obviously it's not cursed or anything. I mean, obviously. It'd be fine. Yeah, I'm sure it's not. Listen, I've dealt with cursed items at this point. Yeah. All you gotta do is try to take it off and stab yourself in the eye. Yeah, whatever. What's his face was using the pickaxe is probably fine. I'm just gonna, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna spend. Uh, so at, after the first hour, we get like we're rested up. It's not we're not as screwed if we get attacked. We're gonna have to like Lisan's up. We let her know what happened. Like, eh, we won. And then, <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna have to keep resting so Lisan can start like getting her hit points back and stuff like that too. Yep. But uh, I'm I'm gonna take the pickaxe and try to, and examine it while we're resting the the next hour. Okay, so very I'm, good. I'm a, I'm a weaponsmith and stuff like that. I'll see if I can figure out anything about it. And yep, as you um, as you pick up the uh, the pickaxe, um, yeah, oh, you uh, hear you hear basically. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Does everybody hear it? No, actually, you know what? Is is Lasan still under? Still unconscious? I should be awake. Uh, this is after. This is we waited. We rested okay. an hour. So, okay. she one, so she's, she's awake. Actually okay. awake. She's so no, just not, it's just you this time. It's just you. Yep. Um, you hear yes. Yes, make for me the weapon. Oh, I thought it was a pickaxe, but no, it's just Eric's creepy otherworldly patron of doom. Yep. So much better. Oh, so, oh God. Do I have any instructions from this? Am I supposed to, does it want me to like combine that with the, the staff from the other thing? or? Um, like, as far as you know, I mean, there's, there's something. One end into the other. It's not very forthcoming, although, um, you know, maybe things will come become more clearer as you go along. Okay. But anyway. So anyway, I, I, whatever the case, I, 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 spend the, I spend the time studying it while we're, like, resting up. And uh, with it, within it, by, after about an hour or so, whatever, um, it's gone. What's gone? The pickaxe. Oh. What? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you have a magic pickaxe. Uh oh. Interesting. No, Slurp <laughs> it up. Hmm. Oh, what? Now, what does that do exactly? Just for uh, for me. What pickaxe? Well, because I have Pact of the Blade as a warlock, mm -hmm. right? But we agreed on like my version of it. Since I'm not gonna, I can't just summon a weapon out of nowhere, right? Like you normally could. I can so I have the choice. I can spend a bonus action to make whatever I'm holding count as a magic weapon. Oh, all right, okay. Temporarily, but I mean, normally they could just like spend a standard action and summon whatever the hell kind of weapon they want at any time, which also counts as magical. The other thing you do with Pact of the Blade is when you have a magical weapon, you sort of you bond to it. You spend mm -hmm. an hour, and then now instead of summoning some random weapon, you just always summon that weapon out of the like extra dimensional nowhere. Right. Something out of lim limbo. Okay. And so. So in other words, you need to know what this weapon does. Except I don't. I don't summon the pickaxe. I don't summon the weapon. Whatever it is that I that I bond that way, it's just in limbo. 
until I like unless I change it or something. Or if I die, it'll just like reappear near me. But okay. But but basically, you I, just now, infuse the I stats spend, of that. Now, when I spend my bonus action to make whatever weapon count as magical, yeah, it will take on all the properties of the weapon that I bonded with. Okay. So if that was a plus one flaming pickaxe of orc slaying, then when I pick up like a block of wood. I spend a bonus action to like enchant it. Now it's a it's a plus one flaming, orc slaying block of wood. What? For a while until I stop using it. Or, you know. <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. Uh, because I'm going to I need to give you the stats of this weapon then. Yeah. So you can write it down. I'm just looking for it. I don't see it anywhere. God damn. Uh, you know, maybe I'll just look in the index real fast. Let's do it this way. Um, actually, wait, there's no index? Oh, that's an oversight. Okay. I, I still need to use, find oh, there it is. the improvised weapons. They just take on the properties of this thing. Okay, so, um, you ready? Okay. Yep. Da -da -da. I'm going to just read you the whole thing because it's now yours, obviously. <clears throat> a war pick forged from a single piece of iron. Iron Fang has a fang-like head inscribed with ancient runes. The pick is heavy in the hand, but when the wielder swings the pick in anger, the weapon seems almost weightless. This weapon is immune to any form of rust, acid, or corrosion. Nothing seems to mark it. Iron Fang contains a spark of Ogremok, the prince of evil earth. You gain a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls you make with this magic weapon. So plus two. Plus two magic weapon. Yep. When you hit with it, the target takes an extra 1d8 thunder damage. Wow. Okay. Okay. Also, you, Holy shit. you gain the following benefits mm -hmm. while you hold it. Yeah. You can or speak while while I have taken while I have spent a bonus action yeah. during that encounter. Pretty yeah. much. You can speak Terran fluently. You have resistance on acid damage. Nice. You have tremor sense out to a range of sixty feet. Fucking <laughs> hell! You can <laughs> sense the presence of precious metals and stones within sixty feet of you, but not their exact location. You just know there's something around. You can cast, and this is the sucky part, you can cast Dominate Monster on an Earth Elemental. Oh. Once you have done oh. so, Iron Fang can't be used this way again until the next dawn. Okay, so I you can you can, you can claim an Earth Elemental. That's super relevant. Yeah. Shatter comes with this. Has okay. three charges. You can use your action to expend one charge and cast the second level version of Shatter. Okay. Um, yep. It regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. We Also, wow. the rumbling. While inside an, an earth node, you can perform a ritual called the rumbling, using Iron Fang to create a devastation orb of earth. Okay. Okay. Once you perform the ritual... Iron yeah. Fang can't be used to perform the ritual again until the next dawn. Ritual of Earth Shattering? Is that what it's And here was excited to have like a, a suit of chainmail that counts as light armor. Yeah. Which don't get me wrong. Holy shit, that's yeah. amazing. But god damn, you got like an artifact that you just This this is indeed an artifact, yeah. You're gonna have yeah. to also, of course, spend uh is it a week or how long is it to, to actually make it yours? Although you spend an hour to have it, but to get all of this stuff, hour. you're gonna have to be yeah. using it for about a week, I think. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't get any of the, like, charge-based abilities for a week. It's just, like, a plus-two weapon right now. Exactly, yeah. With acid resistance. Things just sort of, like, come to you after a week, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, the last thing is flaw. Iron Fang heightens its wielder's destructive nature. While attuned to the weapon, you gain the following flaw. I like to break things and cause ruin. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. <laughs> You're going to have to roleplay that a bit. Yes. Um, so there you go. That's the end of uh, the long list of things that you get from having oh, Iron Fang. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Iron Fang. It comes with a name. That's yep. good. So right now, there's there's two. There's two things. Um, 
yeah. the bow Jeez. of storm, basically. Yeah. That already gives you a bit of a flaw too, although that's going to be more present later. Um, and then yeah, you have the uh, the plus the plus two, and you're going to have that flaw plus all the extra things, mind you. But that's a, yeah, it's kind of a major flaw. It's going to be fun. Never pickaxe. Okay. I, I like how interesting these weapons are. They're yeah. not just like, you know, a handful that's, of stats. That's what's supposed to happen in 5th edition. That's why we haven't been getting plus one weapons all the way along. There's supposed yeah. to be things. Now, They're supposed they to be don't interesting and important. They don't necessarily have to be this important, because this one's crazy. <laughs> but... No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, this 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 particular um, weapon, obviously, is is also ritualistic. It is it is not just any weapon. It has a direct yeah. attunement to uh, Ogremok. So that is an evil earth god. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, because that's fine. Using artifacts that are tuned to evil gods is totally okay. Totally it's fine, it's obviously. Fine. Yeah. No, no bad side effects. I happen to know this for sure. Yeah. Well, whatever. Like, it, none of us know about that part particularly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's that. Um, so you guys can do uh, a long rest if you wish. Um, there's not, there's not going to be anything happening if you. That's great. Well, this is probably a great time for us to put in a cut then, because it's, it's yes. twenty two. Is it twenty two? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, well, I suppose that so makes sense. Long rest. I'm going to roll for my um, wand of magic missile recharge here. All right. Come on, baby. Yeah. Oh, course, not bad. Yes. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give uh, everybody who's watching there, the viewers. I'm gonna give you a tour of everything they haven't seen yet. <laughs> you ready for this? Look, okay. Let's just look around. Let, let, let's, let, let's, let's just keep going. Let's let's keep looking around. You ready? All right. Let, let's look over this way. Uh, you don't get to see. Oh my god. Oh jeez. I'm oh my god and get like my damage and stuff. Not that you're like I can't see what you're doing. <laughs> what? There's that much left. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at the I mean, we might over. still do more, but I don't know. At the same time, we've like presumably. Well, there's that other dude. And they say we've hit, we've lopped the head off this organization. Ooh. Is that right? Oh, okay, okay. Jester just brought me some knowledge. Um, artifact can't be can't be packed weapon per the PHB. Nope. Kind of legit. So you're gonna have to like actually that, hold on to it. I don't know. Can my pack is kind of different though? Can we just like work, roll with this? Um, I'll. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um. Because you are consuming an artifact, is what you're describing it as. It's not going away. Yeah. I mean, if I die, it'll just pop out, or no, it'll just pop back. Okay. Mm I suppose it's that. It's basically like you know what, and I'm I'm gonna say this is gonna be okay. I'm not gonna go straight hard rule on this. Um, for another reason yeah. too. The other reason is because of the extra flavor and story that um, Demonac has with his patron right now. Yeah. <laughs> this this is this is very story oriented and. He's already Rule saying, cool make Trump's for me the weapon. You know, he's been saying, make for me the weapon this entire time. And there, this is obviously there. a portion or a large part of that. Yeah. Um, so it seems like something that he should just be able to use anyway. So we're, we're going to be, there, we're going to be fine a, it. I, I think there, there are definitely likely to be story-based concerns later. Like, I, I think some, one of the concerns, like, you use that as an artifact is, like, someone can't take it away. I think there are going to be other issues with this thing <laughs> that are... You're slowly it's turning like, to stone and mud. It's not like I just permanently have this awesome thing that's going to be great forever. I don't think that's actually what's going to happen, mm. even though it is protected in this way. Um, here's an interesting thing. Uh, I will say, um, Lasan, mm -hmm. even though you you shrugged off the um, the uh -oh. you don't have any negative um side effects. Like there's no there's no negatives oh, to your your rolls okay. and stuff like that. Good. But um, your arm. On, on the top side of it, there does seem yeah. to be a crust of stone still. Like, it just, as you were resting, it sort of, like, it's just part of it. It looks like scar tissue, really. Just, a, just, a, and it doesn't do anything. You know, you still have free movement, not restrained or anything, but you, you are marked, um, by it. Um, same as your brother. Wow. Which actually might encourage you to go find your brother and, uh, have a he few words with him. <laughs> yeah. Because like, obviously he either come in contact with, with, this oh. particular one or another one? Yeah. What, what's this all about? You know, there's there's something yeah. to be explored there. Um, and, yeah, and of course, uh, you have your brother there, but there's no way for you to do anything with him currently. So if we get greater restoration by either hiring somebody, assuming we can ever get enough money for that, mm -hmm. um, or one of us, what, becomes a cleric and learns it? 
We'd have to do that to come back and save Gira and, and his brother. I think we're we're, we're going to have to get a, get scrolls of it. Yeah. Somehow, which will probably cost us a horrendous amount of money. And, yeah. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and you I don't you can't just like go anywhere and buy scrolls of like no. level seven spells. So it's going to turn into some kind of quest. Yep. So that's our next our big quest is to save your brother. <coughs> okay. Yeah. God. And, and Gira. You gotta get two. Wow, yeah. we gotta get Gira. Yes, I agree. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is sad. You know, it's so weird because the entire faces and people in the in the chat too. Uh, yeah. As soon as Gira, and he, he's not really technically part of the party party, but yet he is. Too. He went down, and everybody's face gotten, just yeah. dropped. Like, so yeah. sad. Yeah. The emotional level there. That was actually pretty crazy. He's the kind of character that you introduce as a side character that everyone flips out about. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's like, he's here's, a, he's a Oh man, child. we have to go back upstairs and his dad is going to be like, not happy. I yeah. was just about to say that. Yeah, Jerth. <laughs> the greater restoration. We fix Tao's eye at the same time. Is that, yeah, we get all three done. Actually, time. give me a, uh, just right quick, uh, give me a uh, intelligence roll. Just everybody, just give me an intelligence roll. Or wisdom, wisdom roll. Wisdom roll. Wisdom? Okay. Just straight wisdom. Aww. Why didn't you tell? <laughs> Why? That, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's actually good enough. They actually, I just wanted to like a DC 14, but you, okay, you know, you guys are okay with that. Um, I will it. say that, um, you, you do recall, you do, um, remember that there was obviously either a necromancer or something, somebody upstairs as well, who happens to know magic, and he didn't seem hostile. Overall. The guy in the locked up room and stuff like that. He just didn't want to be bothered. Yeah, he just didn't want to be bothered. That oh, guy right. still exists. Yeah, if he's a cleric necromancer, which right. is the more powerful necromancer historically in D&D. And then, of course, you just gotta, he didn't want to be bothered, so then you're gonna have to persuade him to be bothered. But yep. um, there, there is something like We've that that cool you can robe. look into. What's that? Cool silk robe. <laughs> Maybe he wants a new outfit. <laughs> Crazy pick powers. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I suppose that's going to wait till, uh, that's going to wait till next time. Um, very good. Wait till next time. Ah, boss fight done. Um, intense boss fight. Freaking amazing. Very, very well played, everybody. Very well played. And the setting. I mean, where this happened and how it happened. This is freaking awesome. This is a, this <laughs> fun. This was fun. All right. It was, it was, honestly, this, I find this a lot more this... fun than if we'd have had allies and been in the room and yeah. the big kind of normal setting, you yep. know, the whole it's, level. It's, it's got crazy. It's like, it starts out, the thing shows up, she has to make her petrification save and we're all like, oh shit, this is going to be terrible. Then you push it down and we're like, oh, this is going to be pathetic. And then it worked out to still be really close. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. Even though he was hanging on. Yeah. yeah, and didn't get his multi-strike. And in fact, he was attacking at a disadvantage. Everything was still pretty damn close. Nice it was, job, it was, it was nerd. Well, thank you. Yeah. You did good. This was awesome. That was awesome. Excellent. That was I'm awesome. glad. Yeah. I'm glad everybody had a good time. Um, So very good. Uh, <laughs> we're we're going to adapt into crazy-ass shit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to adapt. It's new for me. I mean, obviously, people can tell I'm, I'm, I'm totally new at this. Uh, let's go to the donations real fast. We're going to read them off. Um, so yep. today, Castmaster123 donated $20. There was no message, but thank you very much. The, the message thank I you. got was uh, that you're super generous, and we thank you for it. Yeah. Um, Marcus McNutt, mm, let's read what you have to say. You, you gave of yourself five um, dollars there. Thank you very much. This has been a great morning of watching a Dungeon Master struggle to deal with an inventive party. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you very much for your your generosity there. Um, Vinaliter, um, with a $20 donation for the Res Gira Fund. Yes, <laughs> all right, I like it. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> and then Xeno X969, bring back Battlestar Galactica board game night. Hey. Oh, that was, really good. That was a lot of fun when we were doing that. Okay. Um, so there's that. Okay, very good. And that's all the donations. Thank you, everybody, for being here. And Quill, till next time, where can people find you? You can find me at youtube.com slash quill18 and twitch.tv slash quill18. Perfect. And Demonac. Well, you can find Tales from My Demon Tales from My D&D &D campaign on youtube.com slash Demonac, and you get updates on all my stuff and find all my social media at www.demonac.com. Perfect. And a kiss for luck. 
And I'm just a Kiss for Luck everywhere. YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, kissforluck.net, all the places. And in about 15, 20 minutes at twitch.tv at forward slash Kiss for Luck playing some City Skylines. Oh, that is brilliant. Very good. It's so convenient to have your name the same. City Skylines, which is even yeah. better. Uh -oh. <laughs> I know, of course, be hosting a Kiss for Luck from here. Um, but do, awesome. do yourself a favor and uh, pop on over there and uh, continue to have... Um, some entertainment this morning and afternoon, I should say, as uh, I'm about to sign off from here. Um, and of course, you can find me here, here. And then scroll down, you'll see the social media stuff is down there. Links for that, my YouTube, all that jazz. Just if you're interested, scroll down and click the places and follow and subscribe there. And yeah, we're done. Thank we'll see you, you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. There are tons of Let's Plays on all my friends' awesome YouTube channels. And if you want even more concentrated D&D goodness, check out Tales from My D&D Campaign.